everyone. Welcome to my live stream. Today I'm doing another Inktober drawing. Inktober is almost over and I realized the animal I could do, a great Halloween or autumn October themed animal that I haven't done yet is a rat. I love rats. I had rats for about three, three or four years. So a trio of sister rats and they're wonderful little pets so I definitely want to draw a rat hopefully there is a rat picture in this zoology encyclopedia that I've got I'm just gonna flip through it to find it instead of using the index because I think it's fun also to look oh look at this look at these oh they're so cute okay made me a rat here's a panda oh here's a, some sort of big kitty birds Ooh, here's a really close image of a jumping spider. Wow. Let's see, bugs. Oh, oh, I see. It's not by, oh, well, we'll see. It's by, like, feature rather than just, like, a, we'll see. I might have to use the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I might have to use the index after all. Hopefully there's a rat picture in here. This is bigger than the other encyclopedia I was using. Here's a bat picture. Wings of skin. Show me the rats. Show me. Oh, there's a cute. Oh, these are cute too. Oh, little baby alligator. Oh, these are illustrations. Okay, come on. Let's see. The rat picture, S R, R A. Rat, rats, ninety four. Ninety four. <gasps> my favorite owl. This is my favorite kind of owl. Barn owl. Okay. Ninety four. Ninety four. Oh, that's so cute. Look, it stole someone's egg. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, that's amazing. Let's see, let's see. 94. Getting distracted. Okay, 56. <laughs> These pictures are amazing in this encyclopedia. I'm so glad I got it. Oh, hunting. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, 92, 94. What? There's no rats in here. What? Oxygen. Oh. Psh. <laughs> This is not gonna work. It's just like a, this isn't gonna work. I could get my other, <laughs> just a little diagram of how lungs work. <laughs> and they're using a rat as an example. Dang. Well, I guess it is zoology and not animal encyclopedia. But the pictures are bigger. That's why I wanted to try it. Here we go. Back to the trusty old natural history. This has lots of pictures. Oh, oh look, look, look. It's probably around here. Look at these. Chinchilla, Mara, guinea pig, Hawaii, Dassey rat. That's Cute. I hope I can find a bigger picture of that. Oh, what the heck? I've never seen that before. Oh, that's adorable. Pakan, Pakarana. Oh, that is freaking adorable. Mountain Vish, Vishkacha. 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 That is so cute. Porcupine, shrew, capybara. Oh, whatever dude look at this this is too cute oh harvest mouse how precious but this is what i wanted to draw brown rat the basic rat oh this is what i had though black rat i had these black rats often called ship rat because of its ability to live aboard ships also the transmitter of bubonic plague wow but I want to draw this one. Plus, it's the biggest picture on the page. This is like the classic rat. Perfect for Halloween, 
autumn Halloween theme. So, get out my little sketchbook that I've been using and all my cool stuff. Let's see. Hopefully, I have room here. I gotta. Move that coaster there, and this calendar can move. There. I want you guys to be able to see the reference I'm using. Oops. Alright, there's the last one. Oh, it's been so long since my last Inktober. But, it's pretty amazing that I'm doing them at all, with a full-time class load and also doing a part-time job. <laughs> I think that this amount of Inktober is commendable. Plus, I really like doing my own theme this year, not trying to follow prompts. It actually makes it less pressure. It's really high pressure to try to do the prompts. For me, anyway, with my, all the stuff I've got going on. I love that curve. Ah, Krona8, hello! How are you? I'm so glad you could make it again today. Oh, and their mouth is like way back there. It's just like, you. The front hangs like way over. I didn't even do it as far as it should be, but I like this shape, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Kind of do my little style right there. Stylize it. Enhance the bits that I like. So this one's ears are coming straight out the sides so you don't get that big ear effect as much. Let's see, right about where the nose is, goes right here is where the bottom of the ear is. It curves in kind of like a human ear right here too. There's like no fur on it. It stands like its own little object here on the head. And it curves around. Yep. Then this one curves around farther in. And there's a fold right here and right here that you can see. And one right here too. Yeah, that's good. And that also kind of cuts in right there. And then the back part is furless as well. And then the other ear sticks up. Wait, this needs to be more roundy. Roundy. And then the other ear sticks up even higher. But thinner because it's farther away. There. That's good. Mm, the eye is like right. So actually I need to make this more of a change in angle right here. actually goes more like straight out and then kind of curves a little bit right there and even curves downwards right there yes that's better and the fur kind of sticks up where it meets the ears yay now the eyeball basically a perfect circle with some little points Especially in the front, but a little bit in the back, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Now the nosy. Can't exactly tell what's going on, but it's definitely got something right here where it folds in. And you can see the nostril. There's that. Oh, this is looking great. Yay. It's been so long since I've drawn a rat, actually. I think I haven't really drawn them much since I since the last of my pet rats passed away. Not having them in my life every day. It just doesn't come to mind, I guess. Okay, on the outside of the ear, the front side of the ear is about where the fur starts coming down for the chest. I might want to 
make a frame of some sort of because I've been combining a lot of like, fungi and other plants, rocks. Did leaves on that one. I think I'd like to find something that I can frame, like whoosh, something like that. I'm gonna flip through here. Oh wait, good idea. There's my little shivy bookmark. Put that here. Then I can find my spot again. Pet rats are so nice. I've never had one myself, but a friend of mine had one and it was so precious. Aren't they cute? They're so sweet. Did your friend's rat like give you like little licky kisses? Because mine would like lick me like they were teeny tiny dogs. Like just like a dog would do. She was really cute. And they were so friendly too, like I haven't had mice as pets, but I feel like mice aren't the same. They're not as social with other animals the way rats they would totally bonded with me. I should do mushrooms. I only did mushrooms once, I think. I could do some mushrooms. But I want like a curvy shape. Some sort of curvy shape would be nice. A flower. This is a beautiful flower. Maybe something like this. But I don't want to cover up the face. I want to more frame the face. I need something that. There's purple cone flower. That might be interesting. It didn't lick me, but it was such a cuddly little dude. I wasn't expecting it to be so friendly. <laughs> yep. They are so great and I like I knew they were intelligent. They're like really smart. You can train them and stuff to do tricks or, you know, whatever. I had never trained mine, but <laughs> you could tell that they had the capacity. Like they would always get I don't know, they were just so cute. I would always give them the paper towel roll. They would like drag it in and then start like getting all the little extra bits of paper towel off and like ripping it apart. <laughs> it's just super cute. There's maple leaves. I think I should just do some sort of basic leaf. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why either. Why it's censored lick. <laughs> Maybe someone ruined it for the rest of us. Common fig. That's a pretty leaf. I don't want a leaf though. Maybe I want some sort of... There's so many options. Ooh, bamboo leaves. Those are pretty. Well, I gotta remember I can't take too long. Only have until about maybe 3.45, so I've got a half hour. So I've got to hurry. <laughs> got a half hour. Okay, I'm going to do bamboo leaves because they are easy. Uh, you can't really see them. They're on the opposite page, but I'll just do that because they're easy and they can fill the space. They have this like iconic shape. So I'd like to get this done. All in one go. But I took so long doing my art history homework that I don't have much time before art history class starts. Let's see, how's this one? It has one right next to it. That's cool. We'll do that for the bottom one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna do it. Hmm. It's like a little one. I need that little one to come off. How is it? How's it doing it? This. Yeah, like this little tiny one. Right there.
Now that's good. Not like frames it. That's good enough for a drawing that I only have half an hour left to finish. Oh, oh. Okay. So I guess I'll ink with this first, the most basic lines, because it dries really fast and then I can erase faster. If I use my dip pen, I have to wait longer for it to dry. Furs make a texture here. And these are actually, the ears are really light, so I'm sort of breaking up the lines on purpose so that they don't seem too dark and heavy for such a light colored part of the creature. Also got really textured fur, so I'm trying not to do too many solid lines anywhere where I'm seeing like little bits of fur sticking up. So Krona, how's your days been going recently? It's been like a week, I think, since we first chatted. Things going good? Things are getting a little uh, around here. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just gonna keep staying at home. Stay at home, stay at home. Just trying to weather the storm. starting to get, my brain is starting to get used to the idea of just I'm always by myself at home. Well, not completely by myself. I have my people who live with me, but I was like, oh, why don't I invite my best friends to do a video girls night and we can like do our makeovers and drink wine and do all the stuff that we normally like to do anyway when we used to hang out like almost every week. Well, we'll just do it on Zoom. Just never really, well, it's not that it didn't come to mind, but I just didn't have the interest, I guess, in trying to make it happen. But recently I've been more engaged. I don't, I don't know what the word is. My brain's like, hey, why don't we just do this? probably because I always love having holiday parties so the closer the holidays get the more my desire to hang out with people I've been good I started drawing a little bit more since the coronavirus has been picking up around here things are starting to shut down again <laughs> which has given me a lot more time for myself yeah so they're shutting down there too huh that's what my city, they moved back a stage a few days ago. I bet there are some people like in an uproar about it, but with all the corona cases like skyrocketing, I, there's like nothing for it. So many of our ho hotels, <laughs> hospitals, <laughs> I can't believe I said hotels, hospitals are like, have now reached that point 
that we were all trying to avoid where they don't have enough people, they don't have enough beds. <sighs> so stressful, such a stressful time. But it's good that you're that you're drawing. What um what kind of media do you like to use? Do you do digital work or more pencil and pen type of stuff? Let's see, I wonder if I want to use this. I don't think I'll use that little one. Oh, my ink. Where did I put it? I gotta get my ink out of my drawer. pretty good on time here as far as my class is concerned my class starts at 3 and it's 222 right now so as long as I can ink this pretty fast then I will be good to go for class that one always likes to stick to all the other ones that little nib I love this one it came this pen set came with all of these I tried them all but this one's my fave Kind of in the middle of being like soft and bendy but there's another one that's even more soft and bendy and it's actually kind of a pain this one is a little more firm but not so firm as the other two it also doesn't give me as thin of a line as some of the other ones but that's also not that big of a problem for me nice middle ground because I can get pretty thin lines still let's see its eye is brown but it's very dark you can just barely tell that it's brown I'm mainly a digital artist now, but I also use acrylic and pens when I'm drawing traditionally. Do you use Photoshop? Seems to be the most common. But I know a lot of people use Procreate. I guess it depends on what kind of a platform you're on in the first place, whether you're on a like desktop computer or more like an iPad type of thing. Oh, that's pretty good. A little bit more dark right at the bottom here. Yeah. Yes, that's good. Now, it's got these great whiskers coming out of its nose. They go up and down like like a starburst. Oh, I need more ink. Goodness. I don't want to do too many of them. I'll just do a few more indicating the other side here. And there's some that like comes what seems like straight forward. And then there's some that go down. I've never actually used Photoshop, but hopefully I'll have the opportunity in the future. Photoshop is good, but it's I don't know, there's stuff it can do and there's stuff that other programs are better at. So if you have something you like, I don't think you need to rush or anything to try out Photoshop. But there are some things that I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta use Photoshop for this. <laughs> it all depends. What program do you use then? 
there anything that you favor? <laughs> I'm trying to do the fur right here, but it makes it look like it has little eyelashes. It just has little furs around its eye. favorite part filling in texture and tone with line <laughs> oh oh krita 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 i've never heard of that one but i love clip studio paint that's one of the ones where i'm like mm, photoshop pales in comparison to the abilities of Clip Studio Paint. But then there's other things that Clip Studio Paint, I'm like, really? You can't do this? <laughs> I have to open it up in Photoshop to do the one little thing. Oops. Makes it look like it has a little bald patch right there. <laughs> there are little areas that look like little bald patches on it, on this rat. Not right there. And this is turning on nice, okay. Maybe my fur right here. And some right here. <laughs> that's okay. Your clip studio paint backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what I get for multitasking. Yeah. I've had stuff like that happen. And I'm like, what? What? What did I just say? I'll do it when I'm just speaking aloud, too. <laughs> Not even just typing. Let's see. I guess the fur does go all the way down. All the way down the tip of its nose. Oops, I need more ink. Keeping an eye on the clock, we've got about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's what live streaming while you have classes is like. It's always like a race. Gotta hurry. I guess it is sort of good practice. The rat is turning out so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's all thanks to the rat's inherent cuteness. It still kind of surprises me when people say like, oh, I can't stand rats or whatever. I'm like, what? They're just like teeny tiny little puppy dogs. <laughs> is really bristly so it's looking a lot smoother on my drawing than it actually is in the picture because it's like just sticking straight out towards the viewer in the picture there are some places like right here it's like nice and long and smooth so I'm gonna do a little bit more tiny little hatching here it's a little more textured than what it's looking like. It is pretty bald on the nose right there, but like its ears are definitely bald, but I'm going to put a little bit of hatching for shading purposes to 
give it some more dimension and like depth because where it like goes in where the ear canal goes into the head and like right here it's actually pretty dark back here is dark because it's sh shaded by the big part of the ear and here's dark because there's a little more fur growing on the outside part of the ear and that's pretty good I think that gives the right effect maybe maybe just a tiny bit a tiny bit right here oh yeah that's much better so it's not just blank right there And the rest of the body, yeah, I think I can do this in time for class. It'd be sweet if this was actually for class, like an assignment. <laughs> That'd be the coolest class ever. Your assignment this month is just do Inktober every day. Sweet! I'm really trying to follow the direction of the fur where I can. Because it kind of curves, like it, it curves down as the arm comes down. So right here it needs to curve down. I guess I'll just fill it all the way in. Then, at some point, it starts going straight back instead as it grows along the back of the rat. Right here. I'll make that transition right there. There. And maybe a few more on the other one. Before I move on to the bamboo, I'm going to get some of these areas more shaded and add a few extra lines to get that idea across. Yeah, like right there and right where the head meets the neck. just like parts here and there where you can see deeper into the fur I guess it's sticking up more oops ran out of ink Oh, maybe right here. I'm going to sort of unify it. I'm just going to put a little bit of random extra. I don't want these dark parts to stand out too much. They'll look out of place rather than like shadow. it helps give that sort of random looking because it's like dark brown brown tan almost white color sort of like a salt and pepper look or something on this rat's fur yeah that's pretty good okay i think that's good enough for the main inking i'll still do that nice outline that i like doing but i'm gonna oh i should have marked the bamboo. I'm gonna do some shading and texture on the bamboo. Hopefully I can find it. 
liver warts. Oh, not protists. Definitely not. Where'd that bamboo go? Bamboo! Oh, oh, it was right here. It was around here, I know it. Because I flipped the that page. Oh, I was sure it was over here. Oh, there it is. Yay. Okay. So the lines all go straight across. They don't... They don't do this. They go... Whoosh. So that's what I shall do. Give it that iconic bamboo look. See these little ones? Can't really see any texture on them, so I'll just do the teeniest bit. <laughs> this looks great. You should name him. <laughs> well, what do you think that this rat should be named? My rats were all girls and I named them after characters in Harry Potter. <laughs> so there's like Minerva and Batilda and uh, Nymphadora were my rats. Funny that that should come up because I've been way into Harry Potter again recently. I've been listening to the audiobooks to get my homework done. And I just watched the Rift Tracks versions, sort of marathoned it over the course of a week or two. Yeah, that's good. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna wipe this. Which is the one I've been using a lot? Oh, this one. Okay. Clean that up for the most part. I'll do a proper cleaning when I'm done. Yeah, this is perfect timing. Because I only have six minutes left, less than six minutes left. But, that ought to be a perfect amount of time to finish this. So, what I want to do, I guess I'll just get this out of the way now, is use this paint marker, which I don't like, don't like this marker very much, but it came with the collection that I bought, so I'll use it. I don't like it because it catches on the paper, no matter how smooth the paper, like this feels very smooth. This has almost no tooth, but it still like catches and does little splatters. And it drives me crazy because I like a nice clean looking. For my work, I think that anything looks good, but what I like to do is different. <laughs> so I always have to like use the lightest touch. And even then I can still hear the <laughs> nib catching it go ch -ch 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 -ch. It does have great ink flow and nice opaque black ink, but the fact that it always catches, and it's not just this one, because I've gotten these before in like Art Snacks or some sort of subscription box. And that one did the same thing. Alright, 
this line isn't that come on not that even right there there that's better okay we'll go around this way The only other rat name I can think of right now is Nicodemus. <laughs> and that's already a rat name. It's one of those secretive men. I've never read the book. I want to. I tried reading it when I was a kid, but I couldn't pay attention to it. I feel like it would be an easy read for me today. But I love that movie. Even though it's like super creepy and scary. I'm going to do a little line here, too, to help show that this ear is in front of the other one. Yeah, that looks good. And now I'm a little rat nosy. I love their faces. It's so cute. Rats are so cute, I can't stand it. Okay. Gotta calm down enough to finish this. <laughs> I love drawing animals. I guess I just love animals. So drawing them is sort of like, I don't know, an ode to them or something. An expression of my affection. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Not quite there. I'm going to take it a little bit further right here to also show that it's in front. all these really cool fantasy names and the best I could come up with Kevin well it's spelled cool okay this rat's name is Kevin Kevin the brown rat Kevin I've never seen Kevin spelled with a two E's like that I think it looks cool Kevin the brown rat And write it on here when I'm done so that I remember. I must remember that this is Kevin. Oops, it did a little bit more thick than I wanted right here, but that's okay. It's just Inktober. It's just for practice and fun. Oh, oh, oh. There. Almost done. Feels like it shouldn't take this long to do this one little line, but it's actually kind of a big line. It's always so nerve-wracking with this pen <laughs> because I don't want to accidentally press too hard and like splatter ink all over. Like, I can't be the only one who's noticed this about these pens. Maybe they're just not really meant for paper, even though I keep getting them in art boxes, so you'd think they'd at least work on paper. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. Maybe my assumption is wrong. It's quite possible. Yeah, that's good. Yay! Right, 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 right. Kevin. Oh, come on, right. And did it I splattered the dang ink? Kevin D. Brown. I'm writing so light to not splatter. <laughs> Brown rat. Now 
I put these dots on the end it makes it look cool <laughs> yes awesome <laughs> yes with two E's because he's a fancy gentleman <laughs> yes I love it not only does this rat now have a name he has a personality it's fabulous Let's see, what is this, 20, oh wow, I put the wrong day in my title, it's the 29th, holy crap, 29 October, I'll have to fix the title later, but, dang dude, I can't believe it, 29 October 2020, oh, I didn't actually, I didn't do my little, like, signature, let's sign my drawing, Was I signing 20 or 2020? They're all 20. Sweet. Oh, I'm a couple minutes over, but since I did bamboo, I feel like I should do some green. Have I used green much? Let's see. There's that. There's that dark green. Here's a light green. Yellow, yellow. There's the dark green again. And the light green again. So I have used green quite a bit. If I use red, I don't want to use red. Well, I'll just think about it during class because I don't have time to make that decision right now. Let me put this nice for the end for the my goodbye. <laughs> it's time to call it a day because I've got 12 minutes to get ready for class. I've got to put my laptop right here so I can get on the Zoom call. So. I'm glad I was able to get another Inktober done, though. I don't know if I'll be able to do another one this year, but at least we had this wonderful little ratty. I almost forgot to do a rat, even though that was, like, basically my theme. So, good luck with class and happy early Halloween. Oh, thank you so much. And you, too. Have fun drawing, too. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.